So I know that decor tips and minimalism don't usually go together, but I thought I would show you guys my tips on how I decorate. So the first one is to observe the space that you're moving into. Uh, I am a little bit of a control freak and I do like to draw it down on paper and plan how I'm going to decorate, but it's up to you how you want to do that. My next tip is to pick a theme for the rooms in your home or your apartment. I find that having one consistent theme throughout helps make it feel a little bit bigger than it actually is because you're not breaking off the space with each individual room. I know these tips might not suit everybody, but I thought I would just share my top ones when it does come to decorating your own place. Start with the essentials, so if you're moving into a new place or you don't have too much furniture that you're moving in, you will quickly discover what you do actually really need. And the next one of course is to declutter. So I do have a 60 day minimalism challenge video somewhere on my channel, I'll link it in the description box for you guys, but that will give you tips on how to declutter and make sure that the space is open and that you do own the things that you still need to own. Next, I personally like to choose simple decor because I find that it's less distracting on the eyes. So a lot of the times I like to make things myself such as the plant stand or the bench or even my bed head and then I like to invest in quality items for the rest of my house. Blank floors and walls are a must for me because they do, again, open up the space and, you know, help stop it from looking cluttered and looking like it's closing in. I feel like when I'm in a space that has a lot of stuff on the walls, all the walls are coming in around me. So I like to try and keep them open and empty and clear. This works especially well if you live in a hot climate like I do. I personally have never collected anything. I've never understood the concept of collecting anything but this is Bo's office so you can see he collects hats and he collects shoes and he collects jerseys. I find that having collections out on display really eats in on the space that you have and if you contrast that to my office which is the same size I feel like it looks a lot bigger just because it's white and it's bright and it's very open and there's nothing taking up all the space. Next is to utilize smart storage. If you're lucky, your apartment or house might already have storage built in if you're renting, or perhaps you could look at doing that yourself if you own, or you can make little portable storage options. So these are some shelves and I've chucked some drawers in them. Fair enough, most of them are empty, but they're there just in case. My final tip is to shop slower and really make sure that what you're purchasing for your home is something that you truly want. It could be as simple as which bowl is going to suit my needs best and which one am I going to want to keep for the longest. I find to do this I like to shop online because it means that I can compare things, I can bookmark them, I don't feel that pressure to buy them and take them home straight away. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment below if you had to pick one decor style for your home, what would that be? I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!